Hello everyone, my name is Jacinta from Posture Tonic. Welcome, this is your day three of our Power Pilates Challenge. So we've got a full body workout using some wrist weights if you have them, or ankle weights. You could use dumbbells if you don't, or just still join in either way and just use full body weight. All right, we're gonna get started first with some roll downs. So just walking to the end of your mat here, let those arms be nice and long, rolling the shoulders back, take a bend through the knees, big inhale, Arms sweep up overhead and then opening those arms, tuck chin to chest and dropping yourself down bone by bone. And at the bottom, we're gonna roll ourselves all the way back up to stand tall. So again, bend the knees, reach the arms up overhead, sweeping them wide, tuck chin to chest, rolling down. Nice and slowly, let your weights take you down. You have a soft bend through those knees and then restack your spine. All the way up, one more, inhale and exhale. Sweep those arms wide, roll yourself down. Hold it at the bottom here now. Walk yourself out slowly into a plank. Hands stacking underneath your shoulders and step your right foot forward, hold it there. Reach your right arm up towards the sky, feeling a beautiful stretch through that left hip flexor. Driving those hips down towards the floor. Sweep your right arm back towards your bottom and then up towards the sky, press back into your plank. Other side, step your left foot forward, tucking those hips under, reaching left arm up towards the sky, holding it there for a second, and then take that arm towards the hips, back up towards the sky, back in towards your plank, and bend your knees, walk yourself back in towards your feet. Restacking your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae to stand all the way at the top. From here, we're coming into our squats, so feet hip distance apart. I'm gonna take those hands into prayer, finding a squat. Hold it there, rising the heels up and down, and then stand all the way back up. So one squat with a calf rise at the bottom here, and stand back up. So we're gonna try and keep our head nice and low and not moving as we lift the heels. So we've got tension through those quads and then stand up. So warming up these ankles and our quads. Come down, lift lower and stand. Beautiful, 15 seconds now. And rise back up. Make sure your heels ground to the Floor before you stand back up. So come down with heavy heels, stay low, one calf rise, heavy heels, and then rise back up. We'll stay low in five seconds time. So on the next one, two, hold in one, just those calf rises, up and down. Lifting up and lower. Beautiful, can we sweep those arms forward as we lift the heels? And then back down by your hips just for five. Stay low. This is challenging a balance. In two, we stand on one. Awesome work. Moving into the center of your mat, turning your toes out in a little wider stance. Big breath in and lower your hips down into a sumo squat. Hold it here and releasing one arm down towards the floor, back to center. Release the other arm to the floor back to center and then stand back up. So we come down, little side bend, reaching the hand towards the floor, side bending through that waistline and then stand back up. Coming down, right side bend, left side bend and up. Really focus on keeping those knees turning out on this one. They're gonna track over the center of your feet. Enjoying a bit of a stretch through that side waistline and then rise back up. You've got 15 seconds now. Rise back up. Good, take it over and over. Give me eight, seven, six. Holding it down in four, three, Two, hold the next one down. Just those side bends here, releasing the arm and side bend. Feeling those legs, definitely. Ooh, we're gonna go for eight more seconds. 
You got it, last three. Two, and one. Straight back down into that lunge. And by lunge, I mean squat, hold it there. From here, you're gonna turn into our 1990 lunge. And then back into that sumo squat. 1990 lunge and sumo squat. The arms are just gonna come into prayer and then we open them out to cactus. So let it flow. We twist, 1990 and sumo. My goodness, my legs are very warm already. We are getting stronger together. So toes point outwards, then toes point forward. Nice, just for 10 more seconds. We go for five, open up, three, two, and one. From here, moving into our plank. So hold your lunge down, step back into your plank, and hold it there for a second. You wanna squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs up, and contract your legs as well. Stepping the right knee underneath your hip, then the left knee. Step it back, step back. So four point kneel, hover, two, full high plank. Okay, so focus on lifting that chest up. It's nice and proud from your mat. Step it in, step it out. Beautiful, 10 more seconds. Climb it in, hold that solid plank. Bring it in, give me five, four, three, walk it back, two, and hold your plank in one, everyone. Rocking yourself forward and back, just for eight seconds. Rock it forward and back on those tippy toes, drop the heels away from you. For three, two, hold in the middle, step your right foot forward, lift your arms slowly up towards the sky, dropping into a 90-90 lunge again. From here, hinge your body forward, reach your arms back, little balance through that left leg, and then back into that strong 90-90 pose. So hinge forward, balance, floating that left leg up off the floor, and then 90-90, really slowing this one down. Connecting into that back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Arms overhead, arms by your hips. So keep a soft bend through that right knee as you hinge forward. Yep, and find your balance. Good, give me 10 more seconds. Straight line from your head all the way to your toes. We're gonna hold that leg in that floating arabesque in five, four, three, two, holding that lunge, floating that back leg up. We pulse the leg up and up. Keep those arms straight and strong. Squeeze the back together a little bit. Really smiling through those collarbones. Ground through that right heel, pulse, pulse. We're stepping back into our plank in four, three, two, and back foot finds the floor, hands come down to the mat and step it back into your plank. Hold here for a second, ready for the other side, stepping that left knee in and then the right. Lengthen out into your plank. Step it in, step it in and plank. In, in, and step back. So in this position, we always wanna be thinking about using our shoulder muscles. So that's why I always cue kind of lift up underneath those shoulders or underneath your armpits to engage. So it's a full body workout, full body exercise using your core and your shoulder stabilizers. And you get those quads as well. Nice, let's hold that plank in five, four, three, two, hold your plank, 
really strong pose here for 10 seconds, as still as you can. Breathing in through the nose and out. In and out. From here, step your left foot forward, lighten those fingers on your mat, get your balance and send those arms up overhead. Drop down into that 90-90. Hinge forward, float that right leg. Find that 90-90 and arabesque lunge. So keep going, making sure your feet are hip distance apart. And we're slowing down this movement, challenging our balance. We've got some arms up next. 10 more seconds here. Nice, we're gonna hold that arabesque lunge in four, three, two. Holding the next lunge here. Float that back leg and it's a pulse up and up. Beat that heel up and up. Arms are straight and strong once again. Tummy drawn in, eight seconds. Five, four, three, two. And one, well done. Let's take it down into a kneeling position now. So we're gonna take a kneeling position, nice and low. How are we feeling? Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> we're gonna come into our triceps. So a little hop up, we're gonna extend those arms long and then reach up towards the sky. So I want you to fold your hips, extend your arms back, tuck them into the waist and then shoot the arms back up. So we fold forward, kick it back and reach. Extend and reach. Once, once you have that, you can move a little bit quicker. I'm trying to work into those arms here. Breathe out. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, reach. Coming from that low to high lunge, you're gonna feel your heart rate lift a little bit here. Doing well. So good job on the legs. Let's focus on those arms here now. We've got about five minutes of arms right here. And we've got 10 seconds left on this one. Kick it back, reach, lengthen and reach. Five, four, three, two. Hold your high lunge. And by high lunge, I mean high kneel. You've got your arms in cactus here. And then we're lifting the arms up, drop the hips down, rise up and lower. So feeling your shoulder blades, drag down your back as you low kneel, squeeze your bottom as you press forward. Those arms are gonna feel a little heavier. Go down and up. Think about dragging down through those elbows and then strong energy up to the sky. 10 more seconds. Take it down and up. Good. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Low kneel, little hover, reach your arms long. Turn your palms up towards the sky. We're pulsing the arms up and up. Good, really connecting into your back here now and your triceps. Working against gravity as we push up and lift those arms. So you're hovering away from your heels, challenging those legs as well. Keep your core drawn in. Eye gaze looking forward. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming down onto your belly here now. We're gonna come into those cactus arms. So bend those elbows out at 90 degrees. You're also gonna bend at your knees. Toes together, knees are wide like a little diamond. From here, you are lifting your chest up, lift your thighs up into a back extension. 
Hold it there, extend your arms and legs low. Reach your fingertips towards your toes. Come back to that cactus, bend your knees and release all the way back down. Inhale, lift up and reach. Nice long shape and come back in, fold and lower. So pinch those shoulder blades together and lift your breastbone up a few inches off your mat. Extend the arms, extend the legs. Fold everything, lower the legs down and arms. Lifting up, reach on two, fold on three, lower on four. Just think about a little lift through that chest. We don't want to go too high. Good, give me one more here. Lift up, extend, down. Lift up one last time for our swimming legs. Extend those arms, palms face up towards the sky. Start beating through those heels. So you're gonna kick those legs, kick, kick, kick. Lift that chest bone up. Eye goes just in front of you. Breathing in, make sure your tummy's drawn up away from your mat. Kicking those legs with lots of energy. Hover those arms. Doing so well, kick it out, 10. Breathe through, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands underneath the shoulders, press back into a child's pose. Reaching those arms long. 10 seconds to release, breathing into the back of your rib cage. And out. Great, coming in to our kneeling side obliques. So come into that high kneel. If you want to fold your mat up for a bit more cushion, you can pop it underneath your right knee. We're going to extend that left leg long, coming back to fingertips to temples, like how we started in our squats, okay? So from here, we're going to take that side bend away from your straight leg. So reaching over to the right side, release that bottom arm, and then return all the way back up. So we lower the chest up and over, release the bottom arm, and slide that rib to hip on the way up. Coming over, release, and up. So the idea is to think about lengthening up through the crown of your head. So we're going up, 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 and then side bend over, working into those arms here as well, but really challenging that left oblique. So keep moving here. Good, can we drive the hips forward as well? So we've got a little squeeze through that supportive right glute. It's gonna be working to keep you stable. Releasing, awesome work. Let's go 15 seconds. All right, we're gonna take it over and hold in five, four, Three, two, holding over on the next one here. And then can we reach those arms and then back to your temples. Reach and bend. Feeling that side oblique just for eight, seven, six, five. Let's stretch it out in three, two, and one. Right hand to the floor. Lengthen that left arm and enjoy that nice little stretch. Let that weight take you over. Well done. Good job. Okay, straight to the other side. So we're gonna go with that left knee onto your mat. We'll extend the right leg long this time. Straight into it, we're taking it over. Release the bottom arm and then come back up. Exhale on the way up. Good, remember that cue where we're thinking of lifting up first and then over. So often I say to think of there's a ball, a big, um, like an exercise ball, and you're gonna go up and over that ball. That often helps. So get that little arch, side bend, motion. 20 seconds to go here. Just 
squeezing that left glute to stabilize us. Nice, we're gonna hold it over in 10 seconds time. Those arms are getting quite the workout today. All right, ready to hold it over in three, two, and one, hold your next one over, reach the arms, and then back to temples. Reach and bend. Keeping that side bend, breathe through, eight seconds. Beautiful, go for four, three, two, and one. Enjoy a nice stretch, hand comes down. Reaching up and over. That feels so good. All right, five seconds. Okay, guys, coming back to your plank. Then we're gonna pop those wrist weights on your ankles. So we're in a plank, full plank. Squeeze the glutes, tuck the hips under, tapping one knee down and then the other. So try and keep still through your hips and just tap the knee down and tap and tap and tap. Good, just 30 seconds. Spreading the fingers wide on your mat to really ground down into your hands. Scooping in through that belly. Okay, our last little flow, we're gonna pop those wristbands on your ankles in 10 seconds time. So knee taps for eight, tap it out, six, three, two, and one. All right, so we've got some glute bridges. We wanna pop the wrist weights. We're gonna turn into ankle weights. Then you're laying on your back, we're gonna go for our glute bridges. Perfect. Okay, laying on down, your feet are hip distance apart. Arms relaxed down by your side. We're gonna roll the hips towards you. Squeeze the glutes and peel up into your bridge. Rolling your spine back down. Just doing three of those and then we'll move into our single glute bridge. So tucking under, squeeze the glutes. Lift the hips and melt back down. One more with both feet on the floor. And then we're gonna challenge our glutes on a single glute bridge. So extend your right leg up towards the sky and let's roll up, single glute bridge, pressing down into that left heel and lowering your hips down, bone by bone. So we're rolling up through the spine and rolling down. Extending that right leg up towards the sky. Push up through that left booty and check those hips are level at the top. Good, all right, can you give me a pulse in that top range before you lower yourself down? Roll it up, little pulse, and roll down. Exhale up, inhale at the top, and then exhale, roll back down. 15 seconds to go here. All right, holding it at the top for me in five seconds. Just those pulses in three, two, ready? Roll it up, hold it at the top. We pulse up and down. Just 10 seconds, you can rise those arms up to the sky if you want a little bit more. Push down into that left heel. Go for it for five, four, three, two, and roll yourself all the way back down, straight to the other side. Left leg extends long, and we go rolling up and peeling back down. Roll back down. All those same focus points, hip bones are level at the top. So don't drop one hip. We wanna keep those hip bones shining straight up. Lower yourself down. Yeah. 
and your pulse on the next one at the top. We drop down a little bit and then lift straight back up. So little pulse, top range, and melt back down. All right, 10 more seconds to go. So good. Let's hold it up at the top in five, four, three, two. Roll yourself all the way up. Pulse it up and down. Rise those arms if you can. Let's do it. 10 seconds. Good. Lift those hips up, up, up for five, four, three, two and roll it all the way down releasing the legs open and just breathing here beautiful let's take those legs to tabletop here now all right single leg extension reaching one leg away bring it back in so you're in a neutral spine extending one leg at a time knees over your hips and just lengthen one leg away from you reach one and then the other. So the lower you take your leg, it's a little bit more challenging. Hands interlace behind your head, ready? We're gonna add a curl in in 10 seconds time. So every time your legs are in tabletop, we'll curl ourselves back in. So lengthen the leg and then lift your head and shoulders up into your curl, lower your head, extend one leg. Curl it up. Extend the leg as you lower the chest. Crunch it in and lengthen the leg. Good, 15 seconds. You're nearly there. Nice, let's hold our curl in three, two. Hold your curl in one, reach your arms by your hips, extend your legs long and draw them back into tabletop. Lengthen the legs, draw them back in. Final eight. Kick a little higher if you need to, feel those abs. First six, five, four, three, two, Last one, and hug your knees in towards your chest. Really releasing through the hips. And then roll yourself up to sit in the middle of your mat. Taking a couple of mermaid stretches, reaching your left arm up, reaching through those fingertips and side bend over to the side. Lots of side bending in this class today. And over to the other side. So hopefully feeling that length through the side waist here. We've got one more on each side. We mill those arms up. Take a side bend. And the other side, one more time. Interlace those hands above your head. Reach your arms up. Press the palms up to the sky. And exhale, opening those arms wide. Well done, guys. That completes your day three of our Power Pilates challenge. So I hope that you enjoyed that one. Please let me know below if you're doing the challenge and how you're feeling so far. Guys, we've got day four tomorrow. Make sure your notifications are on and that you like the video. And I'll see you back here for day four tomorrow.